everyone so this is gonna be Arielle's 10 month update she's 11 months old already oh, she's yeah. been 11 months old for about a week and two days this September 1st and she's going to be a year old in 18 more days so we're so excited it's so sad but you know a lot of babies don't make it unfortunately to one years old so she's probably gonna be doing her own thing um, she's kind of in a funky mood these past couple of days. Yeah. Can you say hello? Can you say hello? Yeah. I'm recording this off of my phone to get a faster upload. Okay, let's get into it. There's going to be no breaks, no cuts. This is just one take here. So, from what I can remember at 10 months old, she was already starting to stand by herself. She'll practice a few, um, she'll practice standing a few moments by herself and then she'll fall to the floor or she'll catch herself again. And she's really been cruising. Definitely that's what's been going on in 10 months. She was cruising, going from furniture to furniture. Um, she's very good at crawling now. She can fast crawl and she still has no teeth. In that department so for eating you know we still give her what we eat but I still have to kind of mush a lot of the things for her because I just you know don't want to chance her choking she, she has no teeth no teeth no teeth huh <laughs> no teeth no <laughs> and um, she's a really good eater her favorite food her favorite fruit actually are the blackberries and she loves those so 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 much and she loves udon noodles they're an asian noodle she really likes those and she's had salmon a little bit of salmon she wasn't really a fan of it here look read your book she wasn't really really a, she wasn't really a fan of the salmon um she likes chicken and I don't think we've really tried too many things, too many new things. I'm taking it slow because I gave her some green beans a couple days ago and her, that seemed like it might have upset her tummy, but um, I don't know. So I just want to take things kind of slow and still give her the same thing she's used to. I don't feed her the baby cereal anymore, but I've heard, you know, it's good to keep up on it for the iron. But um, I'll give that to her sometimes. She doesn't like oatmeal. I think it's just the texture that's really different for her. That um, she's used to the baby cereal and, or the baby oatmeal, but not like regular chunky oatmeal. She just, I don't know, it's just the texture. She's definitely an actress. She can fake cry and she expects a reaction from that when she does do a cry and then, you know she does throw a little tantrum if you take something from her yeah. um she hasn't really you know spoken any words it sounded like she said a few things here or there my hair is like all crazy in the back sorry about that that's just really distracting <laughs> but um hold on let me pause for a second okay we're back climb 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 <laughs> Good job. Ah! <laughs> hey, who's back there? Come over here. Come here. So, uh, what was I talking about? Mm. Oh, for 10 months, I don't think she's really said much. She still babbles frequently. She's always babbling. She, especially if I'm on the phone, she'll act like she's, t you know, part of the conversation. She'll start mumbling. She'll start screaming, yelling. Um, also, I think it was, um, I signed her up for Gymboree, and for summer session, you can go every day, obviously except for Sundays and Mondays, because that's when they're closed, you can go every day, and she's in level three, and that's, I believe, um, like 10 months to 16 months, or something like that, it, it was kind of, or like 13, I don't really remember, 12, 11, but she's in that class just because the other one 
I guess I could have tried that one again, but I, you know, I wanted her to be more interactive and, you know, exploring and figuring out the different obstacles they have there because the level two is more like sing songs and, you know, like baby, baby things. So, um, she fits in well. A lot of the kids in that class can kind of walk. They walk and it's just her and like maybe two other babies who are still trying to learn, um, taking a little bit of steps, but not to their level. But it's still, it's still fun to see her and she loves it. The first couple of times she was a little timid. She would just kind of keep to herself. But then she, for, I don't know why, if it's because she's an only kid and she's not used to, you know, sh being around other babies or sharing, but she'll hit other kids. Like, she'll single a, a, a baby out <laughs> and she'll yank on their clothes, like make them fall backwards, sl smack them on the head, on the arms, on the legs. Not that she's a violent baby, it's, I don't know, it's just something about the baby is just ticking her off, I don't know. But she's hit a couple kids in that class and it's it's funny, <laughs> but I try not to laugh because I don't want to encourage her, but she will... Um, she's hit a couple kids before and it just kind of I feel like it makes me look bad But you know everybody under all the moms understand and you know their babies. They're gonna hit Nothing too serious But um, these are my new glasses. <laughs> I don't know my last update. I had my other ones, but I thought I'd throw that out there so sh this is a flip diaper and she is not 100% cloth diaper because I don't have enough materials to do full time yet, but that's okay. It's you do it at your own pace. It, you know, I do feel like I am saving a lot of diapers by doing cloth diapering and just seeing. If you're in cloth diapering and then you, you do regular diapers for whatever reason, you will see the difference of all the pals building up of the diapers, disposable diapers first, you know, ones that you reuse. And it does, you know, it, to me, it makes me feel bad seeing, you know, how many diapers she really does go through. So I really do enjoy cloth diapering. The extra work, I, I have to hand wash and dry myself. No issues with that. You know, I don't mind the extra work. But, um, like I said, she's not 100% cloth diapered. But, um, I do put her in every other day or a couple days at a time. This is the flip diaper and pretty much it's just a cover and then she's wearing a pre-fold underneath. I have one bum genius. Yeah, you say it baby. Click that button. Click it. We have one bum genius diaper but that one is a pocket diaper and those ones you pretty much need like 36 of those diapers to be half time or full time part-time or, or um, full-time because once they pee in it you pretty much have to just get a new diaper this one I like this system better because it is just a cover so the inside is the one that gets changed and you can still reuse this one for multiple diapers as long as they don't poop or you know pee on the diaper so it, that it's just what works for us so far she doesn't seem to be uncomfortable. She seems to be more uncomfortable in the disposable diapers versus um, these cloth diapers here. Um, also, I wanted to talk about real fast. Um, ever since she was born, I've noticed, like as soon as they put her on me, I noticed that in her, her right eye that it had like redness um, around her eye. And I think I even have pictures of it being like that but I've always just noticed it and then she's always had you know goopy eyes in her right and left eye but mostly in the right eye because the left would clear up sometimes but um this wasn't go this has been going on since birth and so finally our pediatrician suggested us to go see an eye specialist and get her opinion if you know she had block tear ducts and what our next step would be so pretty much we took her to the eye doctor and 
we took her to the eye doctor and she did the whole you know she sat on my lap and looked at her eyes and we found out that she does have a, uh, a lot of she has stigmatism in both eyes apparently and I have it obviously <laughs> um, she has it as well in both eyes and she also has a blocked tear duct and well she gave us the option of well actually she was kind of pushing us to do the surgery but um, a lot of the time it's pretty common a lot of time it does clear up by time they're a year old maybe a few months after but if not then it's suggested to do um, the surgery, the eye surgery, that they just pretty much just, you know, poke through the tear duct to make a passageway, squirt like some, um, some liquid through to flush it out to see if, you know, it's officially cleared through. And, you know, it takes like 10 minutes tops. It's not that big of a deal. But her dad, you know, is wants to look into it and he doesn't really want to do anything that you know that's unnecessary if it's gonna go away by itself so what we're just gonna be doing is just massaging it trying to clear it up with a warm patch and see if it clears up by you know 12 or 13 months if not we might just end up having to do the surgery but as you can see right now it's just watery it's just kind of watery she doesn't have much goop That's what's been going on at the doctor front. Oh yeah, dance it, baby, dance it, dance it, mama, dance it, dance it, mama, dance, 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 dance. <laughs> Why are you making that face? See how it's watery? So yeah. Other than that, um, time is flying by so quickly. You know, it's just. There's so much stuff that I wanted to do with her <laughs> and like just like take a lot of pictures of her but it's like time is just flying by so quickly and you honestly don't have time for it. Um, so like I haven't taken a newborn picture of her, like a professional newborn photo of her and I feel like I will always regret that. Um, but. I do have pictures of her when her, she's a newborn. It would have been really cute to have like newborn pictures. But I don't. But she's going to be a year old. And we are hoping to get some pictures, you know, like a cake smash. We're going to do that ourselves and then get regular professional pictures of her just for her first birthday. It's looking all classy. Uh-oh. You bumped your nog? Oh. Alright, so we're gonna have some playtime right now and I'm gonna upload this video and I think I still need to upload her nine month update as well so hopefully that's the only one I need to do and then I'll be caught up on her months and yeah really really so proud of her she's done so much already and she's just learning so much and it's just so amazing watching her grow up and you know i feel so blessed to have her she's my little angel so yeah all right i'll come here can you come here so we can say bye bye just wanted to add in a few more um notes before i forget sorry this is her favorite book as of lately is that even is that even like a a, a sentence is that a proper sentence as of lately as of late <laughs> this is her favorite book um this is her favorite book and it's just something that she can open herself she opens it and then they can feel you know whatever is um the highlight of that page like the ears she loves to open it and this is her favorite book eyes nose toes peekaboo it's really cute we still co-sleep i still um breastfeed her exclusively so things have been the same for those sleeping arrangements and eating but um yeah she's on there playing with the blinds so all right y'all say bye look look say bye 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 bye
Alright, so we're gonna go. Bye.